Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Um, what? Hi. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, good. Um, off screen, everyone is now level 55, um, except for you, and I do have the EXP share on you. I'm not sure how many levels I'm going to get you in this episode, but by the time the next episode starts, I would like to get you a few more. Oh, and also, uh, you might notice she looks a little bit different. The reason why is because um, I actually forgot to save after the last episode, and I quit the game. Um, so I had to do that fight over again, and I now have a sassy um, swab bone instead of, well, like a normal one. Still a scrappy, though. Still has mostly the same moveset, so it's not really too big of a deal, honestly. Okay, let's start looking around. The village holds the biggest shrine to the gods in all of Tandor. It also serves as this town's Pokemon gym. There is nothing like watching the serenity of the ocean at night. The gentle reflection of the moon and stars. It soothes this old soul. I mostly want to find out what the, um, what the typing of the gym is in this episode. I think that could help me prepare a lot better. There are so many different fighting styles practiced here. I have years of training ahead of me if I want to master them all. Huh? Secret technique. Barehanded blade. Chop. Oh, jeez. So you have arrived at last. Please be welcome to my dojo. I am known as the Grandmaster... Yoshitaka, he who has mastered six arts, and your game dog, the one who defeated my disciple Hoka um, Hokage. I can see you are quite strong already. Yes, indeed, you are the one I am looking for. I am known as the master of six arts, endurance, attack, defense, um, special attack, special defense, and speed. Endurance is probably health. Um, those are the core principles of the six arts. In my years, I have taken many disciples. Of them all, there are six ninja which are attained uh, true masters of their arts. These six masters have left Tsukunami Village. I've met most of them, probably. Now they travel across Tandor, each teaching the way of their style. I have summoned you here to ask of um, you a favor. You who have journeyed so far, who seeks to become even stronger. In my old age, I have gained a certain clairvoyance. I can tell that something is coming. The village will soon be in danger, and I need to gather my disciples together again. My duties keep me bound here to my dojo. That is why I am asking you to, um... You must journey um, to them and deliver a message that they are needed. Huh, interesting. Do this, and you will become an honorary member of our ninja clan. I will teach you my secret techniques, and you will earn the right to use the sacred Pokemon of Tsukunami. Yada Garu. But bear in mind, some of my disciples, they are stubborn and proud. They need you to prove yourself to them before they agree to return. For what I hear, you are quite a strong Pokemon trainer already. I believe that you have what it takes to earn their respect. This seems like a pretty big side quest. I might do this one. It sounds pretty interesting, actually. I've been down there. I'm trained to be a ninja master. I've already developed my own technique. Ninja spitball. <laughs> the village ex um, exists as a symbol of harmony between our people. We came together to build this as a sign of peace after hundreds of years of war. Oh. I am one that is called Junin. I attack by throwing fry knife like knives. This one's name is Chunin. I ride the waves as, and, uh, as swiftly as the wind. I am Genin. The Pokemon Sa Salanine is my secret weapon. Hello, I am Ronin. The Wave Clan is like my family. So, you have arrived to see me at my very lowest point. Stricken by my shame defeat so easily overcome by a child, I cannot show my face outside my, my village until I have mastered the six sacred arts under Grandmaster um, Yoshitaka. But so long as his ace disciples are scattered to the winds, my training remains incomplete. I must grow stronger. You and I will have our fated rematch one day.
I am the- I am of the Suki clan. My wife is of the clan Nami. If not for that example set forth by our leader, um, Hint- Hint- Hinata and, uh, Kaido, a love such as ours could never have happened. I guess it goes as a show how powerful love can be. How am I to describe supreme leaders? Well, to put it simply, they are spiritual, political, and historically foundation of Tsukunami. Without them, we would no not know peace. They are truly blessed by the gods. Princess Hintana is bright like the sun. We bow our heads to shield our eyes from her radiance. You're a trainer, right? Then you should know Kaido and uh, Hin Hinata, as our gym leaders of Tsukunami. They don't use any particular type, but their theme is night and day. Uh, that answers my question a little bit. <laughs> the Temple of Iotis and Mu yeah, Mudius is the biggest building in our village. It was erected to, to signal the end of the war that lasted more than a hundred years. Since the temple is also a gym, all battles inside are sacred rituals. My house is a, has many extra rooms, so I converted it to a hotel. Please be respectful to our guests. I don't think you can just do that. <laughs> My daughter is obsessed with collecting toys in the Pokemon Minicorn. Um, it's her dream to see them, um, to see one in real life. If you show it to her, I'm sure she'd be overjoyed. I don't know what that Pokemon is, honestly. Wait, did you see that? When I exited that room, the other door was open for a split second. Oh, that was weird. Also, is that a Musharna? Yes, it is. I like that one a lot, actually. I'm Fennel, a scientist from the Unova region. I decided to come here on vacation since this region has an interesting and, and unique culture. And this, um, and this is Dream, my Musharna. I specialize in research on Pokemon dreams. I even help, um, I even helped build a device called a Dream Visualizer. Using Musharna's power, I can look inside the dreams of Pokemon. It is truly fascinating. Huh? You're saying that a, that a little girl in Venice Town who's trapped in a dream? That's a little outside my expertise. I mostly specialize in Pokemon dreams. Still, there must be something I can do to help. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go to Venice City and see if I can help the girl. After all, what's the point of science if you can't make people li people's lives better? I'll see you there, I hope. And I'll see if I can remember to do that. Tsukunami Village has a unique sort of energy, doesn't it? I think it's perfect for an ace trainer like me. We ninjas are working on our image. The whole mysterious and delay thing doesn't make for great PR. Is this the gym? I don't think so. Oh, it's a museum. Here we are dedicated to preserving the history and culture of civilization of Tandra long past. I don't really want to do this. I might not do that, actually. Mostly here for the battle, you know. What's that? Oh. Oh, cool. So I can get that thing. That's interesting. That statue depicts the Pokemon Yadagaru. It is, uh, it is rare and sacred to the ninja clans. Only the Proven are allowed to train them. They say Yadagaru has the power to summon thunderstorms at will. That's why it's called the Stormbringing Pokemon. You know, when I hear the name, I think of the term Yadagarasu, and I not I don't think it's like a dragon or something. It looks I think it's honestly more like a bird. Are you a Pokemon collector? Show you are searching to capture them all, yes? These items will help you do that. How may I serve you? What do you have? Uh Pokeballs, interesting. These are the weird ones, though. I think these are all Kurtz balls. Huh. Most of these aren't that great, though. Ultra balls usually get the job done. An edge in battle. These are the battle items? No. Oh! Oh, it's these! Oh, wow. These are really, really good. Um. I feel like I should buy some of these. Expert Belt is a very, very good item. I'm going to get that one. They're quite expensive, too. Oh, 
Let's give that to someone. Um, who strikes critical hits a lot? Uh, you do, actually. You have really good coverage, so let's give that to you. Oh, we have two of them. Wait, where'd you get that first one? Huh, that was a waste of money. Or maybe not, I do particularly like that item quite a bit. I sell rare de um, delicacies from all over the world. Uh, carrot wine? Okay. Hmm. Alright, this one. Yep, this is the gym. White tiles. Black tile? What? Wait. Would you look at that? You made it here at last. This is the eighth and final gym in Tandor. This building is a shrine to the gods, Aureus and Modius. And the gym leaders are prince and princess of the ninja clans. Not only that, but they're said to be the mortal voice of the um, of the gods themselves. To reach them, you have to solve a puzzle. Remember, Aeotis and Modius are all about balance. Don't freak out, okay? You can handle this. I believe in you. What does tiles have to do with anything? Wait. Oh, it's one of these puzzles! Okay, okay, okay. I might need to reset this. That's not a reset panel? How do I reset that? <laughs> Negative one. I probably need to make them equal. Or, wait. What does it want me to do? I'm a little confused by this, because it, it raises and lowers it by 2 instead of 1. Let me reset it and try again. It's different now. Let me try this. Huh? Okay, I don't quite understand this puzzle, but I'll see what I can do. Rumbling thunder, then flash, the whole sky lights up. Lightning cleaves the air. Also, how that pops up, like, all the time is a little annoying. Volchik. I think that's a new one, actually. Huh. Hey, you know what it looks like? It looks a little bit like Dynamite Heady. <laughs> you guys ever seen that one? It's an old Genesis game that was made by the, um... By the Gunstar Hero guys. Uh, this looks like you look like an electric type. This looks I, so. I think this goes neutral. Yeah. And Sasha does have the XP share. Jolteon. Okay. I don't have a ground type, and I don't think I have anything with Dig either. Uh, you might have Dig. Let me check real quick. I always forget if you do or not. No, you don't. I should probably replace Term with Dig. I feel like that would get way better coverage. Um, Jolteon, though, I think I could just stay in and do alright. Here are the EV trainers and their dumb AI again. Wait. I... I always forget if you get, um... If you get, um... Uh, what's it called? I always forget if you get static or not. I just don't use contact moves on those anymore. Uh, reversal I think only works if you're hit with another, um... Oh, interesting. No, you're kind of like a fast character, so I don't really want that on you. Yeah. There... Theraamp. Um, maybe like a fire type? Let's switch switch out then. 
arena. Let's see what you can do. Ooh! Um, I might have been very wrong. I will stay in, though. Volt Switch! That's super effective. That's an interesting looking Pokemon, too. Also, I know this is his last Pokemon because uh, Volt Switch didn't swap him out. Yeah, Wild Charge is the way better option now. Okay, this is interesting. Alright, there's Body Slam. Let's go heal up real quick. I might do that in between all these battles. Oh, also, um... Yesterday, as the time of recording this, uh, Sun and Moon came out, so I've been playing that a lot recently. I don't know why, but I was super excited to use uh, Rockruff. I'm not sure who my favorite uh, character on my team is uh, quite yet, though. Okay, so 44 white tiles and 16 black tiles. Okay, now it goes up and down properly. Now, I need to ask, is that the, do they need to be equal, or is that the number of tiles I need to, like, paint white or black? Um. There's a sword, firing in a single thread. Sharp as death itself. Dude, I like this song. <laughs> the song right before you bow, that guy is really fun, I like it. Fry and I. I always forget this thing's typing, it's like dark something. Hydro Pump. Um, maybe... Is it like Dark and Steel or something? Use Dive. Yeah, that didn't do anything. If that's not effective, let's just go all out with damage. I don't think I have anything effective against this guy, actually. Nope, okay. Ah, uh, fight steel with steel, I guess. Okay, so you must just have all three of these guys. Hmm. Okay, if you're going to spend a turn doing that, I'm going to spend a turn uh, boosting myself. I feel like I'm going to need it if this guy's whole team is steel. Alright, fine, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. And 
the Daikatuna. <laughs> I think that's my favorite name in this game. You know, this lane in, I'm surprised I still don't have anything for steel types. I feel like I should at this point. Oh, and I do have someone. I have Sasha. It's just that she has, like, no levels right now. Yeah, like, most of my team is weak to steel, actually. Or half. Eh, no, 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 only like two guys are. That's still gonna do a lot, though. Yeah. This might kill, actually. I, I think it's gonna be like a two a kill, yeah. Oh, perfect. At least a turn doing that. Okay, now let's see what we might need to do here. I probably just need to make them equal again. Although, we should fight you first. You hear the sound of a thousand birds singing. They all sing for you. Coatleth. Okay. Why do you have natural gift this late in? That's weird. Ah, nice! This must be a dragon flying type, because I don't think that would have one shot if it was just times two. Uh, Voltazu. I feel like I've seen this thing before. I'll stand. Oh, it's it's the Griffin. All right. I think it's part flying, so it should this should still do a lot. Didn't expect to one shot though. Wow. Huh. That thing looks defensive. Hey J, uh, this is a actually I should really swap out here. Uh, Marina could easily destroy this guy. You know, one of the most contradictory things I see in RPGs is the nature between fire and ice. Like, in some games, fire is weak to ice. In other games, ice is weak to fire. Then you have, like, your rare, like, Final Fantasy-type cases where they're weak to each other. Like, it's, it's all, I've always found it, like, super weird. Like, what is the general consensus on that? What is weak to what? The one I've seen that seems to make the most sense would be, um, you know, like, uh, like water is strong against fire, fire is strong against ice, ice is strong against water, you know, kind of like a triangle sort of thing. Hmm. It's one of those weird questions I see sometimes, though. Or that comes up sometimes. I never see anyone asking that. Like, 